thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm excited uh, to discuss two of my favorite partners, Google and Databricks. We have an incredible success uh, driving transformation and innovation on the GCP platform around data and analytics. And so we could not be um, happier to have one of our other partners where, where we're uh, a partner of the year winner on uh, Databricks uh, engage. And so when I think about what we've done together with uh, uh, GCP and with Google and with Databricks, it kind of feels like a Reese's Pieces moment or a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, like two, two great tastes that come together and are even better. And so uh, I could not be more excited. I'm joined today by Kevin Collins, who is the Senior Director of North America Solutions, Technology and Partners at Google. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kevin. Well, thanks, Dan. I couldn't be more excited. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. Awesome. Well, let's uh, dive into it with a little bit of Q&A, if that's okay. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. All right. Um, so Google and Databricks share a common vision on data and AI, um, and that's a vision that's open, unified, and simple for customers. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, that and why it's so important? Yeah, I'd love to. And first, really quickly, I, I like to thank you, Stan, and as well as the entire Insight team for having me here. This is, uh, as you said, a great, great partnership and a great sandwich. And hopefully, we can put some uh, some good meat and potatoes in between it. So, uh, so thank you. And yeah, to your question, you know, I'm really excited about the partnership with uh, with Databricks. Um, you know, we provide organizations with an open approach that allows greater flexibility for customers uh, to create their data and AI strategies, and it builds on top of the Google uh, commitment to open cloud, right? This approach gives our customers uh, and ensures interoperability, portability for enterprises, including, including those that wanna use multi-cloud strategies and open source technologies like Kubernetes, MLflow, Apache Spark, you know, Delta Lake, right? We're actually trying to meet customers uh, where they are uh, on their cloud journey, right? By protecting them from vendor lock-in uh, and supporting the clouds to the degree that they want to support them and the applications that they want to support, right? Our distributed cloud provides solutions and consistency across all the public clouds as well as the private clouds, right? And we provide a, a solid foundation for modern, uh, modernization and ability to drive for future success. So we've even we've even gone as far as making our, our data analytics and our machine learning tools available uh, on other platforms to help customers out as well. So when we talk about the partner with Databricks, you know, it just further extends our strategy of, of openness and another great partner and vendor to work with. So, uh, so very excited. That's yeah, incredible. I mean, uh, commitment to, to open and open cloud and, and the, you know, amount of just incredible technology that's come out of Google. You mentioned Kubernetes, of course, and how we look at that as, as you know, various um, arrows that are in the quiver of things that we can use as it relates to creating transformation innovation has been incredible. And so, uh, you know, to see Google continue down this path with this relationship um, is really exciting to us. Perfect, thanks, Kevin. Awesome. Well, I know what's exciting to me, right? Uh, but uh, can you talk a little bit about what makes this so exciting for uh, our mutual customers? Yeah, happy to do that. It, it's, you know, the, the pandemic has put uh, a lot of customers and, and a lot of businesses, you know, forced them to kind of rechange the way they're going to market. You know, and digitization in the cloud has been a primary lever for success for a, a lot of the folks that have made it and had to change their business. Uh, it's a huge, huge lever. Um, as we think forward, enterprises uh, want to improve their customer experiences now that they're in the cloud, now that they've gone through the change, how can they provide a better customer experience, right? Uh, increase the efficiency and productivity with data-driven processes as they're looking back at their supply chain, how can they get data and information quicker and faster to help them with their supply chains? And how do they create new revenue opportunities, right? These are all things that customers are asking and driving for. And in order to provide that in today's world, you need a reliable and secure data platform. And it's absolutely essential to make that happen. And that's what we're trying to do, you know, with our relationship with Databricks. You know, so at the end of the day with, the, with this, customers both get the value and benefit of Databricks with the value and benefit of, of GCP and our platform, right? You know, so a couple of the things I'd call out uh, their advantages for, for customers that use, uh, use GCP is first, the global scalability, elasticity, and security we provide by our, our global network, which is one of the best in the world, right? The ability to deploy Databricks in containers, you know, with our Kubernetes G, GKE, right? It's the first Kubernetes-based deployment of Databricks on any cloud. Right, so that's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, the ability to integrate the capabilities uh, that we provide in Google Cloud, such as AI, machine learning, 
uh, BigQuery and Looker, you know, with our, our regular data platform. So that's going to decrease latency and provide a better experience for uh, our customers, users, as well as their customers as well. So a huge benefits there. And then lastly, you know, customers that uh, want to deploy Databricks via our marketplace uh, are going to have the added benefit of integrated security, billing, and rapid deployment. So it's uh, the combination, I think, is, uh, is world-class and something I think both Insight and our customers can can take advantage of. Yeah, and just some tremendous information in there, right? So, you know, I dig into um, what you said about experience, right? And so we put a big focus on best experience wins. Um, that we do just a tremendous amount of transformation around modern application. Um, and we do a lot around product enhancement, product and service enhancement. And there really aren't any projects we're doing today that don't include uh, artificial intelligence, as a core component to the systems and solutions and, and applications that we're releasing. And so AI enabled uh, and incredible experience have become sort of table stakes today. Um, so I love that you hit that and, and the security aspect of it. Um, I don't know if everyone realizes just how incredible and expansive the network is. It's only a couple of hops before you get on Google's network. And so from a security perspective, uh, just tremendous capabilities there, resiliency and everything else. Um, through the network that you built as, as part of obviously uh, the search capability. So uh, just incredible capabilities there. Yeah, thanks for calling that out. It, it, it is special and unique and every customer that we talk to that actually looks into it and sees how expansive it really is, uh, is impressed. So it, it, it's, a, it's a big differentiator and, and, and something from to your point, a security as well as a scalability perspective, uh, big, big, big benefits for our customers. Awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, trends. You know, what trends are you seeing in enterprises as it relates to, you know, their transition and move to cloud for analytics and AI? Yeah, good question, Stan. You know, this goes back a little bit to the pandemic conversation we had a few seconds ago, right? You know, businesses that are going to thrive in the next decade are the ones that are going to build a strong foundation in data and analytics, right? If we take a look at the conversations we're having with customers today, and, you know, and what, what the biggest trends are, it's this data analytic and processing segment of our market, right? There's not a customer we talk to today that doesn't want to have that conversation. And how are we innovating there? How are we, you know, how are we uh, improving our business? And, you know, how can we make it better for them, right? So uh, companies that are embracing data, data analytic solutions uh, are the ones going to be successful. And they're really doing it, we're finding, for three major reasons, right? So first, um, there's a lot of companies that are struggling to handle the volume, right? The, it, massive volumes of data coming in, uh, peaks and valleys, so it's not consistent all the time, depending on how you're, you know, your, your business, your deployment. And then how do you glean actionable insights from that uh, in, a, in an expedient way, right? That's a challenge a lot of our customers are facing, right? The second challenge is, you know, organization architectures, tools, and infrastructure, you know, have been built over the last 15, 20, 25 years. And they're, they're complex and complicated in a lot of ways, not by design, but it's just happened like that over, over the course of the year. So customers need analytics and tools um, that have a common open platform, right, where they can easily access data uh, and have it, have it available for all their analytics services. So that's the second. And then the third, companies are looking for uh, industry-based AI ML to provide them specific information and data to their industry. Uh, to help provide specific insights. And you want to have a, an analytics platform that's going to support that. Right? And then as we go back to the, kind of some of the opening comments I made, you know, you have to meet customers where they are, right? So that requires, uh, in a lot of cases, us to work across multiple clouds, right? You may have your data in one area. You may want to run your applications in another. And that's exactly what we're trying to bring to customers with Databricks uh, and our partnership. So that's really kind of the vision there. Uh, on that piece of it. And Stan, if you don't mind me flipping the table on you a little bit, you know, as we talk through this, um, I think there's a ton of value that Insight brings to, to the table as well as we talk through. We talk a little bit about what Google and, and, and what Databricks is bringing, but how can Insight really help our customers uh, move to, to a, a stronger data platform faster? Yeah, no, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that. Um... Yeah, so you know, we we uh, we have a, a fast start that we do. As I mentioned, we do a tremendous amount of stuff on on uh, Google from an analytics perspective, from a cloud perspective. Um, we were Databricks Partner of the Year, so we do quite a bit around Databricks. And so, you know, we know what um, you know what the the sort of you know what the value is, um, what this means from an end state perspective, and and we know it's about proving that that value for our clients. And so, we built a fast start 
that really allows you to accelerate that value through rapid prototyping, um, building out the business value very quickly showing, I think when, especially with data projects, um, and that's what I love about both platforms, you can get to value so quick um, and so building that roadmap quickly to show with modern tools what your data and analytic platform can be with GCP and Databricks, um, building out that prototype and then showing to the business leaders and stakeholders uh, around here's kind of what we can do and then identifying that long-term roadmap uh, for, for the platforms. And so it's really our fast start, I think, is the best way to engage us. Um, if you go to uh, insight.com forward slash GCP dash Databricks, um, that will actually give you an overview of our fast start and, and let you know how we can quickly engage and help show the power of the platforms. Awesome. Awesome. That's like a great well, way to get started, man. No doubt. Well, hey, Kevin, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Um, this was great. Really excited for our clients to hear about this tremendous partnership. Um, just uh, loved everything you talked about today. Uh, I get a chance. Best thing about my job is I get to meet with just a lot of different clients and, and talk about the business outcomes they're trying to drive. And I just know how powerful this platform is going to be for them. And, uh, and, and your trends and everything you spoke about resonates exactly what I hear about as we engage with enterprise organizations. And so um, just so on message. So thank you so much for the time today. Very welcome. And thank you to you and insight. Let's, uh, let's uh, make, make it better for our customers. Sounds great. All right. Thanks again, everyone for joining us and have a great rest of the day. Have a good day.